In this video, we're going to cover all of the random mentionable settings in depth so that you know exactly what FL Studio 21 has to offer that FL Studio 20 did not. What this video is not is it is not an in-depth of literally everything in FL Studio. I will, however, be releasing a video. Click above if it's there. This is everything that is a settings option somewhere in FL Studio. So without further ado, please like and subscribe. Let's get started. First things first is in FL Studio 21, the beta at least, the control Z, instead of undoing one or redoing one like it does in FL Studio 20, it would undo everything. And we have that option if we go to general, alternate undo, undo modes. So if it defaulted and you noticed your control Z is different, this is where the option is and that's what it was. Uh, file support for Apple M4A audio uh, is now supported so you can load in files in the M4A file type. The FL Studio splash screen no longer appears when an audio error has happened. Uh, that way you can read the error file without the splash screen over the top of it. Now, one of the coolest new features that is one of my favorites, we got type to piano roll. Now, if we hold Alt and click the two through six button on our number pad, we get different octaves. We can switch octaves extremely quickly while doing type to keyboard, which is a really awesome feature, especially for people that are producing on the go who don't always have a MIDI controller available with them. Love it. Now, something else that's minor that you might notice, we go to something like audio settings. You'll see things are stacked over the top of each other a little more, like our sample rate used to be here in the top right corner. We've got a more vertical kind of flow going here. And setting windows now align more vertical so that they can support longer text needed for different languages, which is something awesome that they are doing uh, moving forward. Project General Settings page is where we'll start. They added a copy used samples to the project folder. Now, this is very similar to doing a uh, zipped file export. Uh, how you'll have your project and then you'll have the samples used. The difference is, is this is not zipped. Uh, this is just organizing wherever your project folder is, all of your samples within that folder. If you want to know about choosing a data folder for your projects, I go over all of these settings in a video above. You will notice, however, that that is in FL Studio 20 and this option here is not included. Something else that will not be included that is new to FL Studio 21 is automatic crossfades. And automatic crossfades automatically creates crossfades between clips in the playlist, as you can see there. We also have a new option in file settings where you can save every one minute and before risky operations for your autosave. And this, of course, is for your backup files. Here. We also have a theme option, which everybody's been talking about, where we can switch through different themes as well as customize our own. If you want to see this more in depth, check out the video above. In our general settings, we'll see a few new options. We have put undone recordings in the recycle bin. If this is off, when you undo a recording, it's gone forever. You can't bring it back. When this is on, you can redo. And when you do the redo command, it brings back your audio. It's awesome. We have invert pencil buttons. This makes it so that if you're using pencil, it swaps the secondary button with the primary button for the pencil. And then we also have down here something different with an old option. So we can set this to open last used project, right? Now, when this is set to use last used project, if when it goes to load, the FL Studio crashes, it'll then change and default to opening the default template. And the reason for this is because if you go to load your last project and it crashes, and then you go to open FL Studio again, and it's set to load the same crashing project, you kind of got this loop going on that becomes a little bit harder to escape. And they kind of took care of that for us. And so it is now set that if it crashes once, it doesn't try again. It's just going to open the default. Now in our audio settings, we have something cool. We've got our browser preview track and metronome track, and these are separate. And this is mixer channels you can send it to. So you can send your metronome to channel three, and you can send your previews from everything in the browser to channel two, for example. Whereas in FL Studio 20, it was just one option called Preview Mixer Track that would handle both the metronome and preview options from the browser. Next thing, 
If we went to File, Export, we're going to save this here. If I click Show Files when completed and I start, when it's done, it'll show me the file and have it highlighted and ready for me to go. It's highlighted and selected. Whereas FL Studio 20, if I were to export, it did not select it for us, only showed in folder. So that's new. FL Studio 21 will now select the file after exportation. Another cool and huge option that was added to the settings for FL Studio is our ability to right click a channel and pasteurize it. So now you can take any plugin that you have or audio that you have going in a channel, in the channel rack, and throw it right into a patch or instance with the single click of a button, which is pretty stinking cool. And last but not least, something interesting and cool. If we go view and we open our touch controller, uh, this actually shows things and the notes they are playing on. So if I go to all and I go to addictive keys, you can see we now get the playback colors on this, which we did not get before. And that's pretty much going to do it. All of the random mentionable settings and uh, differences that are in FL Studio that aren't tailored specific to things like the browser playlist and anything else that I'll be covering in other videos within the brand new FL Studio 21. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, please like this video. If you have any comments, please comment. I always appreciate a subscribe. It's Warren with Scale Audio and adios.